Every year, more than 1.996 trillion pounds of agricultural waste, ash, and manure do not simply disappear. They are reborn as a vital source of nutrients for the soil and crops, helping billions of people around the world have food on their tables. Behind those tiny fertilizer granules lies a complex technological journey, from collecting, sorting, and grinding raw materials, to blending the precise ratios of NPK, and finally carrying out chemical reactions inside massive heat-resistant steel chambers to create uniform, nutrient-rich pellets. Modern fertilizer plants operate continuously, equipped with sensors and automated systems that monitor every parameter, ensuring each granule meets strict quality standards before being dried, cooled, and packaged. To understand how agricultural waste is transformed into this invisible energy that sustains the fields and powers global agriculture, we'll explore each stage of the modern fertilizer making process, from raw materials to the final granules ready to nourish the earth. Each year, the global fertilizer industry produces around 259 million tons of product with an estimated market value of over 180 billion US dollars, helping secure food supplies for nearly half of the world's population. More than a century ago, German chemist Justus von Liebig laid the foundation for modern agricultural science. He was the first to demonstrate that plants require essential mineral elements, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium to grow. A discovery that completely transformed humanity's understanding of soil and nutrition. From his small laboratory in Gießen, Liebig's theories paved the way for the birth of chemical fertilizers, allowing humans to enrich the soil intentionally rather than depend solely on nature. Since then, fertilizer has not only strengthened crop growth, but has also reshaped global economies and populations. Today, Liebig's scientific legacy endures as automation, materials science, and modern chemistry work together to shape the sustainable future of agriculture. The journey of fertilizer production begins with three fundamental resources from nature, natural gas, minerals, and organic matter, including recycled agricultural and organic waste. In vast mining operations such as Aurora, giant excavators work relentlessly. Each steel bucket carves deep into the ground, lifting layers of phosphate, the vital source of phosphorus, P, that sustains plant life. Once extracted, the ore is loaded onto long convoys of heavy-duty trucks moving along dust-covered roads, heading toward refineries where automated crushers and sifters operate nonstop, preparing the material for the next stage of processing. Elsewhere, potash, a mineral rich in potassium, is mined from deep geological layers and brought to the surface for refining. Along the processing line, these minerals are purified into potassium chloride, KCO, a compound that strengthens crops and helps the soil retain moisture. Meanwhile, in gas conversion plants, natural gas is separated into nitrogen and hydrogen, then synthesized into ammonia, NH3, the foundation of nitrogen-based fertilizers. At the same time, in agricultural waste collection and processing facilities, tons of organic residues and manure are separated from non-organic waste then dried and loaded onto specialized trucks bound for treatment plants. Each material is transported by tankers, freight trains, or dedicated pipelines to factories where it's stored in sealed containers, ensuring stability and safety before entering the next stage of transformation. After being transported to the plant, raw materials from various sources begin their refining journey. Heavy trucks unload ores, sludge, and organic residues onto massive conveyor systems. Here, the materials are crushed, stripped of metallic impurities, and screened for uniform size. High-pressure water jets wash away dust and soil, leaving behind cleaner, purer feedstock. Rotating shafts and fine mesh screens remove metal fragments, plastics, wood chips, and other non-degradable impurities, ensuring that only purified organic and mineral materials remain. This filtration process not only protects the mixing equipment from damage, but also maintains the stability and precision of nutrient formulations in the subsequent production stages. A crucial step for achieving consistent fertilizer quality across every batch. 
Inside the mixing section, the process reaches an extraordinary level of precision, a balance between science and engineering. From giant storage hoppers, streams of raw materials, including nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and organic carriers, are measured by electronic weighing systems before being released onto the central conveyor. Within enclosed mixing chambers, powerful rotating blades operate continuously, ensuring every particle blends evenly in both size and moisture content. Infrared sensors and temperature probes constantly capture data, feeding it to a central control system that fine-tunes mixing speed and prevents stratification or caking. A fine mist of water is sprayed over the mixture to maintain stable humidity, creating the ideal conditions for the upcoming chemical reactions. Once the blend achieves the desired uniformity, the refined material flows into a primary drying chamber where residual moisture is removed. This final step stabilizes the mixture before it moves into the reaction stage, where molecular structures begin to transform, laying the foundation for the formation of the finished fertilizer granules. Once the mixing phase is complete, the NPK blend is transferred to the reaction zone, regarded as the heart of the inorganic fertilizer production line. Inside sealed, heat-resistant steel reactors, the material is processed under high temperature and pressure. Here, ammonia reacts with phosphoric acid to form ammonium phosphate, while potassium chloride is introduced to perfect the NPK composition. The entire operation functions with near-perfect precision. Sensors and gauges constantly transmit data to the central control room, where engineers monitor every parameter in real time. This ensures that each reaction batch achieves the required purity and nutrient ratio before moving on to the granulation stage the step where the mixture begins to take its solid, uniform form. The granulation process marks the moment when raw material takes on the form of fertilizer. The NPK mixture, after the chemical reaction phase, is fed into a rotary granulator, a massive steel drum set at a slight angle, rotating continuously. As the drum turns, the material rolls along its curved surface, and tiny particles begin to adhere to one another through centrifugal force and surface friction. To ensure consistent binding, a fine misting system sprays ammonia solution or steam into the drum, allowing microparticles to merge into stable, rounded granules. The drum's rotation speed, tilt angle, and moisture feed are all precisely controlled by digital sensors, maintaining particle sizes typically between two and five millimeters. Inside this mechanical chamber, the granules slowly grow, rolling and colliding until they reach a uniform, dense, and smooth structure. By the time they exit the drum, each granule possesses the mechanical strength and homogeneity required for the next stage. This is the mechanical heart of fertilizer production, where engineering precision and chemical balance converge in every rotation. After being shaped, the fertilizer granules enter a large rotary dryer a heat-resistant steel drum rotating slowly on sturdy supports. As it turns, thousands of granules tumble continuously, exposed to a stream of hot air flowing through the chamber. At 180 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, the moisture evaporates until each granule holds only about 1% humidity. Automated sensors monitor temperature and airflow to keep conditions steady, ensuring every granule dries evenly. A thin veil of steam drifts upward as the fertilizer becomes firm and stable, ready for cooling and storage. In some organic fertilizer plants, the heat comes not from fuel, but from biothermal energy generated by the natural decomposition of organic matter. Air mixing systems regulate oxygen and temperature, allowing a gentle, energy-efficient drying process that preserves nutrients within every granule. As the granules leave the drying chamber, they are directed into a multi-layer vibrating screen system. Here, each layer separates the granules through meshes of different sizes, clearly distinguishing those that meet the required specifications from those that do not. The operation runs continuously and precisely with the vibration mechanism and controlled particle flow, ensuring that every granule exiting the screen is uniform in size and consistency. This screening stage is directly connected to the drying section, 
preserving the structural integrity of the material while preparing it for the upcoming quality inspection phase. At the same time, it streamlines the transition toward either final storage or additional blending with other fertilizer formulations, forming a seamless, stable, and fully integrated production chain. Inside the factory's laboratory, fertilizer samples are taken directly from the production line, still warm from the chemical reactions that have just occurred. Each sample is dissolved and analyzed under the white glare of fluorescent lights reflecting off the stainless steel work tables. Here, engineers measure the precise ratios of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the key nutrients that define the fertilizer's effectiveness, along with pH, moisture content, and solubility in soil. An automated monitoring system continuously compares the data against the plant's internal standards, detecting even the slightest deviations. Each test not only evaluates product quality, but also indicates the consistency and stability of every production batch, ensuring uniformity in every granule. If a batch falls short, it is either discarded or returned for adjustment, much like fine-tuning a machine component to meet exact engineering tolerances. Engineers observe and analyze the data in real time, verifying both the chemical formula and the physical properties, such as granule size and hardness after drying. This process is tightly linked with earlier stages like mixing and screening, forming a closed-loop quality control chain. Only after passing every inspection is the fertilizer approved for packaging and shipment. After passing the final quality inspection, the organic fertilizer granules, precise in moisture, composition, and NPK ratio, move seamlessly into the automated packaging line. Inside this section of the plant, precision meets rhythm. Dozens of filling nozzles descend in perfect synchrony, releasing steady streams of granules into waiting bags. Each 50-pound unit is weighed by electronic sensors that measure to the fraction of an ounce, guaranteeing that no bag leaves the system even slightly off its target weight. Multi-layer polymer bags designed to resist moisture, dust, and abrasion are instantly heat-sealed, locking in both freshness and strength. The sealed bags glide down the stainless steel conveyors, where robotic arms gently align and stack them on reinforced wooden pallets. Every motion, from the conveyor's hum to the mechanical whir of the sealers, forms a precise choreography of modern industry. Next, an automatic wrapping unit envelops the pallets in transparent stretch film, protecting the load from humidity and mechanical stress during storage and transport. Random weight checks continue along the line, ensuring consistency across thousands of bags. Forklifts then carry the pallets into vast storage halls where temperature and humidity are maintained within narrow limits, typically around 68 degrees and 50% relative humidity, to preserve the fertilizer's integrity. When the shipping signal is triggered, the forklifts return to motion. Pallets are loaded onto long-haul trucks under the factory's floodlights. As engines roar to life, the convoy rolls out toward farmlands and distribution centers. Each shipment marks not just the end of production, but the continuation of a larger cycle, delivering balanced nutrients from industrial precision to the living soil that feeds the world. Once the fertilizer leaves the warehouse, it embarks on the final chapter of its industrial journey, returning to the earth. From factories to farmlands, each bag travels hundreds of miles aboard specialized trucks until it reaches rural distribution centers. Here, the organic fertilizer, carefully formulated and stabilized during production, is transferred into smaller units for farmers. As the granules spread across the fields, the cycle of science meets the rhythm of nature. The nutrients once measured in laboratories now dissolve into the soil, releasing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that enrich the land's fertility. Each granule acts as a miniature capsule of balance, slowly breaking down under moisture and temperature, feeding crops throughout the growing season. For depleted soils, organic fertilizers restore structure, moisture retention, and microbial activity. Over time, they help reverse erosion, improve aeration, and promote long-term sustainability. What began as a precise industrial process now fulfills its purpose. 
nurturing the living systems that sustain humanity. The circle closes where it began. The factory's innovation returns to the earth, ensuring that every harvest carries within it a trace of technology, patience, and care. From ashes and animal waste to refined chemical compounds, fertilizer production stands as a testament to how science transforms raw matter into life-sustaining energy. Every granule represents a fusion of precision engineering and natural balance, turning knowledge into nourishment for the earth. With closed-loop systems and scientific rigor, modern fertilizer manufacturing not only feeds crops, but also supports the vision of a greener, more sustainable agriculture. If this journey inspired you, share your thoughts and stay with the factor as we uncover more stories where technology and nature work together to sustain life.